about them a Pangali dance move, a dance move that has swept the nation. Shwap! We have all been swept by this dance. It basically portrays two, two people, specifically most times a man and a woman, but in some cases man, men versus man. And essentially it's basically people kind of chopping each other's head, uh, 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 well, at least gesturing to chopping someone's head with a pangale, right? Mm. And then the other person then turns around and starts to do the, the same thing with you. And it obviously has connotations of, okay, Violence. I'll be slashing on your neck. You know, you're not slashing on someone's neck with fingers. No, it's a massive weapon of destruction, right? Mm. It could be a knife. It could be a panga. It could be a shoka. Whatever it is, it's essentially it's a weapon that you are then placing on someone's neck in the form of trying to you know chop off their neck and obviously uh, our very own Ezekiel <laughs> but <laughs> MCSK uh, you know boss Ezekiel Mutua said Mapangale is a dance style that is promoting violence mm -hmm. and he continued to actually say that um, he said that the song, uh, oh, sorry, this song promotes violence against women. One of the dancers simulates attacking his partner with a panga. Mm -hmm. How is it not promoting violence? It's not funny. It's harmful. While the artist may not have intended for it to be harmful, they should accept constructive criticism. And they said that they're not outrightly going to ban this song that has been done by, he goes by the name of MC Zendio Ziambo. I think I said that right. Zendio Thiambo, he's the one who did the song. So basically he said, he's, he has nothing against the guy. He's not going to outrightly ban the song or the MCSK is not going to outrightly ban the song. But a lot of investigation is being carried and conducted in this time to make conclusive evidence of whether or not the song is constructive or it is destructive. And until the data is given to us at this point in time, he just says, this song is promoting violence. I'm looking into it. That's mm. all he said. Um, honestly, yeah, it is. It can come off a little violent, but if it's just for vibes, I don't know. With these kind of things, it's very difficult for you to gauge the response. So I think it's only a matter of time. Like if the song promotes and is used in situations which are clearly and outrightly violent, obviously a lot of investigation needs to be done and maybe it should be banned. But the reception versus the perceptions are very different. We can't just jump to conclusions and say, yeah, people are going to use this for violence. No, it's just a dance like any other. So I don't know. Time, time, time will tell how negative or positive or just song the song is. So let's wait and see. I, I feel like people should read the room. You know, not everything you do has to be controversial. Even if it's burning in you, like, e when I drop, it's going to be a banger. But just pause and read the room. Check out th the things that are going on around you. Because right now, we're talking about femicide, femicide in mm -hmm. Kenya at an all-time rise. You remember when femicide was at this rate in Korea, and women all in Korea said, we don't want men anymore. What's it called? The B4 movement? I think so. Yeah. They don't want to marry them. They don't want to have children. They don't want to be in relationships. They just want nothing to do with men. And it was somewhat, uh, you know, effective on their end. Yeah. Given that even guns are not a thing in Korea, mm -hmm. like, they don't even use guns over there. And... People are still killing each other. And here we are in Kenya facing the same problem. Like every two seconds I open my social media, Someone's I'll see been something killed. on the Osikimia page. Mm -hmm. I'll see a headline about a woman who was uh, killed. I'll see someone who was butchered. And I'm just like, what is happening? But now you see where, where we are to that environment of why is everyone being killed? And then on top of that, we just fuel everything with a song talking about mapanga leva. And I'm just like, who could pause or kajuliza kwani what is happening? Is this the right time to release this song? Mm -hmm. I did actually see that um, the MC actually put out a Facebook uh, mm -hmm. page talking about Vima Holia Than Thou. He was just making music. He was not trying to promote violence. But just accept. Accept what you're telling us. Yes, it's a good song. It's catchy. People are dancing to it. But at the end of the day, babes, it was not the time. You should yeah. have read the room. Mm. And on our last story, because we cannot wait to see these beautiful angels dancing, we 